Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. We have another bolo today. It's going to be another oddball item. It's fly catchers, fly traps, death traps for flies. They do sell. There's quite a different variety of them. Most people don't mess with them. Most people think, again, they're just not something they want to mess or touch. But they do sell very well. There's glass ones that can be washed. There's all kinds of different varieties. We're just going to show you a few just to get the idea in your head. And we'll hop over to the screen right now. So here we are with fly catchers. Now there's a whole line of lights that have been called fly catchers for years. Now I've never figured out or had anybody else be able to tell me if that's actually what they were made for or that was just a side note of what they actually did. Now any of these domed lights like this that hang like this have a lip that overhangs quite a bit for the actual mounts to hang the clips from. And the actual flies would fly in there and they wouldn't be able to get out of there. They'd be distracted from the light. So that's usually what I see on things like this. Fly catchers, if it's in the title, it does help these sell. It's usually opaline glass or something like that. There's a lot of orange in them for some reason too. The majority of the ones I see do have orange in them. Here's just another example. It's got some orangey color mixed into it. I don't know if that helped attract flies or not, but it's got the basic same structure on this. So I'm not sure if they're actually flycatchers or not, but they do sell very well. All of these type, flycatcher is something you definitely want to put in the title, and it is something that they actually did do. They would catch flies inside of these. If you see an old house, sometimes you'll see tons of dead flies inside of the light fixture, because again, they'll get in there and they won't be able to comprehend how to get out, and they'll eventually die up there. So Now the next one's an early, it's an 1890 dated one. There's a lot of glass ones in here. They basically put some liquid in that little blue part there that would attract the flies. The flies would fly through that hole there and they wouldn't be able to get out and they'd eventually die in there. Perfect example. A lot of people aren't even sure what these types of things are when they find them. This is $81. This is something you might find at a thrift store, at auction, flea market, estate sale, any of these type of places that you go to. If this is an at estate sale, usually I find these in the basement or in the garage. They're usually caked on with dirt and grime. I'll take them, I'll clean them up, I'll sell them. I mean, it's no big deal to me. Here's just another glass one here. They've come in different styles, varieties. There's some new ones that look similar to this as well. In fact, this could be a new one for all I know. Um, there's just a lot of varieties of these out here. So 50 bucks on this one. Here's just another glass one here. This does wasps and the whole thing. It's just literally the same basic principle. They climb underneath it. There'd be some liquid in there and they'd get trapped and wouldn't be able to get out. They sold one of these. They've got many more of these. This is a newer one. These aren't worth a ton of money, but 40 bucks is pretty good for this one. Here's a wire one. Again, liquid. You put liquid in there. They go in the hole. They can't get back out. This one's 40 bucks. Again, this isn't a huge category, just like the mouse and rat traps that I talked about. If you haven't seen that video, I've got a link right up here. It's a very good uh, area to look in, this whole area. You're going to find these in probably the same places you'll find the mouse rat traps in that video I had up there for you. So here's just another example of the glass ones. All of these type do very well. This one's got a nice little handle, so you can just grab it by the handle um, and just take care of it that way, because you're going to have to clean the dead bugs out of them, obviously. Most people put these on display. They're curiosity pieces. $36 on this one. You see, they're not worth a fortune, but they are easy to get. They usually get them for a dollar or less for most of these. Most people just don't want these. They won't mess with these from what I see, especially these. Most people don't even know what these are when they run into them. I constantly find stuff like this at a sale price for 50 cents or a dollar with a question mark next to it on what is it. This one's 30 bucks in the same principle. You just basically have a hole in the bottom, the flies fly in, and boom. Uh, tin cans now. I've talked about tin cans for every aspect of, of collectibilities. Any tin can with advertisements sells, including these for bugs. Now there's Victorian trade cards and fly paper and fly bricks and all of that kind of stuff. A fly brick Victorian trade card from like 1880 could go for three or $400. So just keep that in mind on some of these items. I'm just showing you the most common ones you're going to run into, but there's a ton of other fly-related items that sell for a lot of money. These are the common ones. These are the kind of things you're going to find in a garage or an attic or at an auction for not a lot of money, in all honesty. Most people don't think things like this are worth much money. Had poison it. They don't want to touch it. They just don't mess with it. So if they're empty, there's no problem in sending these to the mail. You'd seal them. If they have something in them, you can still mail them. They just have to go ground. So anyway, $168 on this one. 
Here's a pan scraper, pan and pot scraper, um, advertising bulldog flying insect powder. They advertise for every type of item you could imagine. This one's $140. It's a small little piece. That hole you see there is where your finger goes to actually hold it to actually scrape the items. So they go for a decent chunk of change. Most pan scrapers, pot scrapers, because they're advertising items and most of them were used. So just keep that in mind. Just another example, $76. This is Wiz. Wiz made all kinds of things as well, too. So um, just another perfect example. This is a fly fume. This is something you'd put in the little sprayers. And I've got a few of those in here as well, too. In fact, here's one right here. These I usually get for a dollar or two at an estate sale, in honesty. I can find them all the time. Um, I don't mess with them a lot um, because I don't go to many estate sales anymore these days. Um, usually it's just pickers or I'll go before the sale goes um, and starts and I'll actually pick out higher dollar stuff. But these are something you can find even in the last day of a sale in many cases. Now, they only got 24 bucks out of it plus shipping, but still, that's not a bad price on it at all. Um, and this is coming from another country, so, you know, we're, we're talking Australia. Here's just another example. Again, 25 bucks. This one's from Portugal. You'll find these across the country here in the U.S. Most people don't mess with them. Again, they don't like the the pesticide, the, the aspect that these had poison in them. Most people don't want to touch them. We seal them up once we get them as well and take photographs of them so nothing can happen. They're double or triple bagged as well. So Now here's a black flag one. I'm surprised this didn't go for more money. Um, Henry Wallens with black flag. These used to go off the shelf like mad just because of that name on it. Um, from his punk band. So anyway, twenty four ninety five. These are small. These are the type of things you're going to find at an estate sale or barn sale or a garage sale in like the garage or the barn or the attic, just sitting there for 50 cents or a dollar. Sometimes these are quarter items at some sales. Just another one, Clean Cow. This is for farming and such forth. $23 on this one. It's the big one. The smaller cans for fly and, and bug spray are the ones that seem to always go for more money. So I don't mess with too many of the giant ones. If it was a dollar, I would have bought this for sure. Now here's golf. This one's 60 bucks. This is a big one, but it's golf. Golf oil. So anything golf like that would go for some decent money. Now, if this was an oil one, this would be over 100 bucks. Easy, no matter what. So anyway, just something else to think about. The more ornate the name, and if it has a glass canister in there, that adds to the value, too. This is an early one, so it's tin. It's got some nice graphics on it. It's got the jungle statement on that. It's got a picture of a fly. This is a real nice one here. Next one here is a dead stuck. It's a, a bug killer, basically. Um, just an empty bottle from it. Um, let's see. I think it has the label on the other side. Yeah, part of the label, anyway. I would just leave it just the way it is. Some people will coat those labels so they don't flake off any farther. But this one sold for 40 so not bad at all. And the next one here is another advertising piece. Now, this one was put up for $16 as a buy it now, and it sold probably right away. This is probably a $50 piece, maybe even more on this one here. So any of these little advertising bugs and stuff like that go for very good money, at least from my personal experience. So anyway, that was well underpriced. And then the last one here, just to show you, this is just a print ad. Again, I just picked some random items. If you want to see some high price stuff like this, look up Fly Brick. You're going to see some trade cards that go for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So anyway, this is a small category, but it always sells. The majority of these items do sell. It's something you can get cheap. Most people pass it by. It's something you can even find at the last day of a sale. Because again, most people don't want to touch these because they're nasty to most people. It's money to me. So I don't mind getting dirty and having to wash up afterwards. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there you go. There's another item that we do look for you can find. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.